8.30. We now continue with our debates as stipulated on the agenda. The next agenda item is Mr. Jan Heutemer's report, which is a new action plan for a new circular economy. I'd like to remind members once again that there will be no catch the eye and no blue cards accepted in this debate. And of course there will be remote interventions from the European Parliament liaison offices. Let's uh, continue with our uh, d debate and I give uh, the rapporteur six minutes. Thank you, Mr. President. Commissioner, ladies and gentlemen, 90% of the production that we use on a day-to-day -day basis follow a lin linear direction. What do I mean by that? Uh, we use product, um, we get raw materials, and something is made, it's used once or twice, then it becomes waste. If we continue to use natural resources at this speed, we will need three planets by 2050. So what should we do? We should make sure that the waste that we used to put into landfill or that we used to burn, we use that as raw material for making new products. Not only is that essential for our planet, it's also essential for the Green Deal. I'm completely convinced that if we don't upscale the circular economy, we're not going to be if, if, unless we do that, we'll not be able to achieve the Green Deal and neutrality by 2050. And I think this is also a great opportunity for our economy. I think if we want to be competitive vis-a-vis -vis the rest of the world in the future, we will need a circular economy. Now, why am I saying that? I'm saying it because the EU is not known as a place that has a lot of resources, so natural resources, um, we don't have a lot. A lot of other people have more. And we can't compete on low wages and salaries either. What we do have is a lot of knowledge, a lot of research we can use in the circular economy. So it's a win-win situation. Then there's something else that's very important when it comes to circular economy, and that is the social aspect. We look at the lifespan of goods and also the right of people to have products repaired. I talked to, to a lot of companies recently and they said we can do a lot more than we're doing at the moment, although there are some obstacles. There are three main ob obstacles to the circular economy and the biggest obstacle is that the use of natural resources as a raw material is a lot cheaper than using recycled products. In the course of this uh, pandemic, the oil price has become very low, has become very low, and therefore it's uh, much cheaper to use oil to make plastic rather than using recycled plastic. The second obstacle is the availability of good quality recyclable products which are safe. So we want to focus on these three obstacles in our report and try and find a solution. First of all, we need to create a market for the use of recycled products to make sure they have a good business plan as compared to primary raw materials. And this can be done through better legislation and by awarding the use of recycled products. First of all, if we look at legislation, we think it's very important that the eco-regulation be expanded and that we should fix a minimum for the amount of recycled material must be used in a product. This should apply not just to European products, but to all products sold on the European market. It's also very important that we give a good example. So in public procurement, we should not just look at the price, but we should also look at the percentage of recycled products that are included. We could also use market uh, instruments to promote the use of recycled materials, for example, by CO2 um, payment or other 
market in instruments. We could also invest in research to improve recycling. I wish to look at current taxation and subsidies and make sure that subsidies don't have indesirable um, consequences. For example, that substances are burned where they could be used for recycling. We should look at high quality recycled products. It's very important that the eco design directive be kept up to date so that when a product is being designed, we should already be looking at whether the product can be recycled. There are far too many examples of products which have lots of different substances in them. You might have plastic packaging on the plastic might be layered with cardboard and it becomes very difficult to recycle. A good collection and sorting system is essential at local authority level and we need to learn from each other. It's also very important that we look at whether all waste of streams are actually waste. I don't think that is the case and I think it's essential that the Commission come up with criteria to define what is waste. It's also very important that we have a good tracking and tracing system. We should have a European validated uh, certification system for recycled products so that we know that they're high quality and safe. And if you have an eco-label, people should be able to know that it is indeed a recycled product. There are a lot of other points that we take up in uh, the report such as a global aspect. Unfortunately, I don't have enough time to talk about all of that. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll give the floor now to Anna Cavazzini for one minute. Thank you so much. Um, the battery of this phone is dying. And although it is still perfectly working otherwise, I will have to buy a new one with all the negative implications involved. More resources being mined under often horrendous conditions, more CO2 emissions, and mountains of electronic waste piling up in the European Union. This linear economy needs to change urgently. And it will change if we put in place sustainability requirements that make products circular by design. The Internal Market Committee had voted on a strong opinion asking exactly that circularity by design, plus an effective right to repair, longer guarantees, available spare parts and updates, and better information to consumers with a digital product passport. These are very clear demands by the Parliament to make the circular economy a reality and to implement the Green Deal. I expect the Commission to deliver this year with ambi ambitious legislative proposals. Thank you. And the next speaker is Virginius Sinkevichuchus for, for three minutes. Sorry. Dear President, honorable members, dear colleagues, I would like to congratulate Mr. Huitema, as well as the shadow rapporteurs and the entire ENVI committee for this comprehensive report on the new Circular Economy Action Plan for a cleaner and more competitive Europe. The report is very clear. There is an urgent need to move away from a linear model towards a circular economy. There is no more time for hesitation. The circular economy is a cornerstone of our transition to a sustainable economy and society. It is also a tool to create much needed jobs and strengthen social inclusion. It is a positive agenda that brings benefits to our citizens and provides a range of business opportunities. It's a triple win for people, for the planet and for prosperity. We need circular economy to achieve climate neutrality. Recent studies show that half of the greenhouse gas emissions and more than 90% of biodiversity loss and water stress at global level come from resource extraction and processing. This is worrying. In particular, in the light of projections that material consumption may double 
in the next 40 years. Today, recycling accounts only for 12% of EU raw material inputs. And if we don't act now, waste generation will raise by 70% by 2050. The action plan underlines the need to reduce our consumption footprint, to bring it back within the planetary boundaries, and to switch to an economic model that gives back to the planet more than it takes. Your report strengthens the case for change. We already started the implementation of our plan last year. With the Commission proposal for a new batteries regulation, this proposal is truly groundbreaking. It covers for the first time the full life cycle of a product and proposes a new toolbox for sustainability. This year we will be rolling out the sustainable product policy framework, including sustainable product policy legislative initiative, which will be presented at the end of the year. It will set requirements for products and lay out sustainability principles so that, among other things, products on the EU market last longer, are easier to repair and recycle, and include recycled content. This sustainable product policy framework aims at reducing waste generation and creating lead markets for sustainable materials and products. It will reward businesses aiming to be front runners or who are already leading with climate neutral technologies. As fossil energy represents a fifth of all the material we use, it should be also noted that energy efficiency is vital to contribute. To the goals to reduce the both uh, the material and carbon footprint of products. The Commission will address as a priority certain key product value chains such as textiles, electronics and packaging, to mention just some. Next to ensuring that products produced or sold at the EU market become circular and sustainable, we also plan to empower consumers to that end and in close interconnection and coordination with the product policy. We will present legislative proposals to strengthen consumer rights and information and to tackle green claims. As regards end of life, a lot has been already done to improve recycling, but not all problems have been solved. We will work to prevent waste and to ensure that it is well managed. Our citizens are worried about harmful landfills, litters or microplastics, about dumping waste in countries that cannot deal with it. The Commission will take action to ensure that the EU does not export its waste challenges to third countries. The review of the waste shipment regulation will have a key role to play in improving the internal circulation of waste and restricting exports of waste that have harmful environmental and health impacts in third countries or can be treated domestically within the EU. This brings me to the international dimension and global value chains. We are working together with the United Nations Environment Programme and the United Nations Industrial Development Organization to set up an alliance on circular economy and resource efficiency. This alliance will provide global impetus for the circular economy transition and enable us to advance this agenda together with key economies. Honorable members, as your report clearly states, going circular is now more important than ever. If we want to leave this economic crisis behind, then we need more circular economy, not less. We need the circular economy to deliver a future that is digital, inclusive and green. To do this, we have to bring economic and environment policies together, mobilize unprecedented investments. At the next generation EU will help us to do so. The instrument responds to the economic slowdown and addresses the environmental crisis, while increasing the resilience of our businesses, our citizens, our value chains and our global partners. This is particularly true for the circular economy. Circular economy and the European Green Deal agenda will remain central in shaping the economic reconstruction and the future of climate neutral and competitive Europe. The recent adoption of the EU's long-term budget confirms these commitments. The Commission is working to ensure that InvestEU also includes circular economy as one of its areas of intervention along its investments windows. For the recovery and facility, we stand ready to work closely with Member States and to enhance opportunities for the green and digital agenda. Innovation will play an important role in the new circular economy action plan. Horizon Europe will support novel, clean materials and products, new circular business models and technologies. 
It will also support large-scale demonstration of circular economy solutions in EU cities and regions. In conclusion, let me thank you again for your unwavering support in driving the transition towards a circular economy. It's an agenda for today, for times of crisis and for the future. A shared agenda for the whole Europe and beyond. Thank you very much, uh, Commissioner.